Hey guys, it's Mercifies here. Uh, I'm bringing you a video today of uh, Autodesk Maya, or not Maya, Autodesk Inventor Professional. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna do a playlist from now on. I'm starting now. I'm gonna make a playlist, and we're gonna have. I'm gonna have um, many different lessons on Autodesk Inventor, um, how it can be. Uh, like successful, how you can be successful and how to use it really um, and how to use the different features that it has. I currently have Autodesk Inventor Professional 2010 so I'm not completely up to date but I still am sort of I guess. I don't have 2011 I don't know why it didn't download but I will. So first of all if you're going if you wanted Autodesk Inventor to download uh, so you can make video games then you have the wrong software. You want Autodesk Maya. So go ahead and just uninstall Inventor. Um, if you bought it before you do, then I guess you're kind of screwed. I don't know, I'd have to say talk to the people at support. But anyway, so um, today, well, first of all, I'm going to show you uh, some shortcuts today and some different tools that you have in Autodesk Inventor. And we're also going to be creating the first um, object of many, which is going to be the uh, door wedge. This is what you stick in the door so it doesn't close. Um, and yeah, you'll also be able to uh, look at the properties of the door wedge. So uh, this is what it's going to look like in the end. Um, so let's begin. So you're going to go, when you start up uh, Inventor, going to go to iPro, or you can click on this here, but I'm just going to go to iPro, New, and click on Part. Great, now we have a new uh, part spot. Yours should say Part 1, mine says Part 3. Um, and then uh, we have this kind of blank area, and it doesn't really have much to it. So what you want to do is I'm going to start out by looking at all the different tools we have. So First of all, we have the model section. The model section is used uh, for modeling, obviously. Inspect is inspect. Um, looking at the distance, the angle, all that. Tools. Um, you're not going to really use these uh, too much. Um, you're only going to use them unless you need, if you need uh, macros or something like that, which you generally will not need. Um, with you won't, you won't at all need it with the beginning uh, objects. Manage is, uh, again, you're not going to need it. Um, it's just kind of for people that, um, you know, like in this photo, are creating a lot more difficult pieces. Um, so you're not going to need it at all. View, we're not going to touch it. Again, won't need it. Environments, won't need it. Getting Get started, will not need it. I mean, I guess you could, but you won't need it in my tutorials. And then sketch you're obviously going to need because it has all the sketching tools. So um, let's go through, uh, I'll show you what ones we're going to use today. So first of all, we're going to create the wedge by um, well, creating a rectangle. Now there are many different ways to create objects in Autodesk Inventor. I'm going to show you the ways that I believe are the easiest. There are many different ways. Um, of course, you know, instead of creating a rectangle, you could always Go ahead and create a bunch of lines that um, make the tool. Here's the wedge um, created with a bunch of lines. You know, you can do that, or you can do um, what I call the box, which is uh, a lot simpler when you're getting into complex designs, um, and it will it will not take as much time. So we're gonna delete the other one. And we're gonna go back to our box now. We don't know how big the box currently is. It does not have the um, dimensions on the box. So if you go up and sketch, go up to the tool dimension, or you hit the D key. So I'm going to hit the D key. And we get the dimension tool selected. Once you go down to the line, uh, you, you see you have an arrow. You click, left click, and, dra and uh, don't drag, just move your mouse over. You're gonna have this little line moving, all right? 
whenever you create a dimension, you always try to get it outside of the box or your object as much as possible. Uh, this makes it look much more professional and it organizes it a lot better. So we're going to just move our mouse cursor over a couple blocks, move it over three, and we're just going to go ahead and left click. Great, now we've gotten our dimension down. So we see it's one inch and sixteen hundredths, no, one point six hundredths of an inch. Um, or sixteen thousandths, I guess you could say, of an inch. Yeah. So we're going to double click on that because we want to change it to one inch. And you can go ahead and just hit the one. And it's automatically going to go to, um, when you hit enter, it's going to automatically switch to one. You can also, in Autodesk Maya, um, when you're uh, dealing with inches, it does the uh, dealings, I guess you could say, probably more appropriate term would be organization of uh, this they divide it up to four so if I did four divided by four it would also give me one inch if I did four or six divided by four it would give me one and a half inches um, so that's just a little simple tool again if you don't if you're looking at an object that you're creating um, off of a piece of paper they've given you and they've already told you that it's uh, 0.25 inches each block and you're counting them out that's a very simple way of doing it instead of uh, having to figure out all the math so we've got our um, height down now we need to go ahead and get our width so again we're going to click on one of them I'm clicking on the bottom one and I'm going to drag it down click and we want that to be two inches all right, now that we've got our box, it's one inch by two inches. We don't have uh, depth yet. We will later. And the depth is going to be 0.5 inches. So now that we have our uh, box selected, we now want to create the wedge shape, which is the line that comes down in an angular shape. So we're going to either select the line tool or hit L. And you're going to go in wherever you want to on this line. Um, you're going to go ahead and uh, click. Now, if you look as I zoom in, if I go a little bit off the line, it tries to say that I'm still on the line. It tries to connect to the line. This is uh, just to help us out a little bit, so make sure you're on the line. Going to go, let's say, three sounds pretty good, in three blocks, and notice I'm going off of the grid. You can turn that off if you want to, but I like it on. We're going to go down here and we're going to go one black sounds pretty good. So there we are. We got our line angled. Now we're going to go back up to the dimension tool. Zoom out a little bit. And we're going to make sure that this this small part of the line is um, 0.5 inches. Now if I go ahead and try to trim, yes, you'll see. Well, I'll show you that later. So. I'm um, going to go ahead and uh, see this little dot dimension. If I try to dimension it, it's going to dimension the entire line. We don't want that. So I'm going to go up to the spot where they connect, and there's a dot that forms. Click on it, and go to this corner, and click on that dot. And as you can see, it's 3.75 inches. So you want to change that to 0.5 inches. And then at the bottom, we want to change this small little line. So again, select the dots, and we want to change that to 0.25 inches. Great, now we have our wedge. Now, if I try to, um, if this line right here had a dimension on it, I would not be able to delete it. As you see, I'll try to delete this one, and it will not let me. I'll get an error. There we go. Trim curves are not allowed to because I have the dimension. So I'll hit cancel. Make sure you have any dimensions if you have any um, on these two lines and take them off. And uh, you can select the trim tool up here. It looks like a pair of scissors. Or hit the X key. And we're going to trim these two unneeded lines. Great. Now we have our wedge. 
Now that we have our wedge, we want to uh, turn that into a 3D object, because if I look around the edge currently, it's still 2D. It's flat. I don't like that. So we're going to go ahead and um, go up to the model, hit the model, and go to extrude. You can either uh, click on this extrude by from the model tab, or you can hit E. I'm going to click extrude. Great. Now if I click this corner up in the, uh, if you're looking at the front view and I click the corner, the right top corner, you'll notice I go to this side view, or this upper angle view. Now, there are a bunch of different buttons here, which you will uh, be, ex which I will explain in later videos. Um, but right now, all you need to do is select the one inch and change it to 0.5. You automatically see that this door wedge has slimmed down halfway. You can hit OK, and then you have the object. Congratulations, you have completed your first object in Autodesk Inventor. Very, very uh, simple object again, and we will get to more complex objects in uh, the very near tutorials. So I'll see you guys next time. Mercifies.